Hey guys, Synthesia just got a huge AI upgrade today. We're gonna put it to the test and I'm gonna let you know what I think of Synthesia's new AI tools. This video is not sponsored. I bought Synthesia with my own money. If you wanna try it out for yourself, I'll link to it down below, but let's just dive right into it. If you're not familiar with Synthesia, it is an online video creator that uses avatars to make it look like real people are delivering your content. So you never have to be on camera yourself. You never have to use your own voice if you don't want to. You can even have Synthesia make a custom avatar of you if you want. It's a very wild experience that I went through myself not too long ago. If you're curious about how that went, I'll link to that video down below. So I'm logged into my Synthesia account. You can see my custom avatar here. Let's start by clicking the new video button at the top right of the screen. So now we've got these new video options here. The new one is the AI video assistant. I'm gonna click on this. And so here is an array of templates that I can choose from to build my video. Let's select this one here. And what's cool about the new Synthesia AI tool is that you can create content by just giving it a prompt if you select idea, or you can choose to upload a document, or if you have a blog post you've already written or some other website with content that you wanna turn into a video using AI, you can just post the link here under web link. I'm gonna upload a document. And I just wanna draw your attention that your options are a PDF, a Word document, or a text file. I'm gonna upload a Word document. And this is actually just some notes from an old YouTube video I made about YouTube Shorts. So I'm uploading my document here, and now I can choose how long I want the video to be. I want it to be pretty quick. So on this dropdown, I'm just going to select three scenes. And then I'm gonna type in a little information into my objective and I'm going to add a tone. I'm going to add a description of my speaker and under my audience. I mean, it's pretty specific about my demographic. I don't think you really need to do this. I just wanna see what the result is going to be. And then I'm just gonna hit this generate video button. And right away, I can see my video starting to populate. What's confusing, however, is that I requested just three scenes and it's making a lot of scenes here for me. So I think I'm gonna have to manually cut this down. So I'm going to hit the continue and editor button. And now it almost feels like a PowerPoint setup. It looks like I have all these slides here and I have the script down here at the bottom. I'm just going to tighten this up because it feels very long. I think some of these scenes are superfluous. I can modify the text here. All right, so I've deleted some of the scenes and I've tweaked some of the script as well. Now I'm gonna focus on the visuals of this video. So I'm gonna get rid of this logo placeholder and I'm going to just make some modifications to the on-screen text. If you can modify a PowerPoint presentation, you can use Synthesia. And I think I also wanna replace this avatar with a female version. In my scene, I'm gonna select the avatar and hit replace avatar. And let's just choose someone else. How about Nora? Now I could have different avatars in each scene, but I'm gonna replace this guy with Nora throughout. Now let's hit the generate button and we get this new pop-up window where I can rename my title and add a meta description. And I can also choose to include captions on my video as well. I'm gonna forego that and just hit the generate button. All right, now it's indicating to me that it's gonna take about 15 minutes to generate this video. I'm just gonna hang tight and wait for it to be done. A few moments later. All right, Synthesia has finished generating my video. Let's check it out. Hello all, ever wondered whether to start making YouTube shorts as a strategy for your new YouTube channel? I've been asking myself the same question. YouTube promised creators that making shorts content would boost views on longer form content. This is actually pretty remarkable. I mean, with very little effort, I created a video with someone talking on camera and delivering what I think is pretty decent content. I would say that the script that Synthesia's AI generator created for me was really personable and kind of natural sounding. I did have to go in and reduce the number of scenes, even though I only wanted a few scenes for my video and I wanted it to be pretty brief. It ended up doing 
delivering way more content to me than I really needed. I think that's just because my original document that I uploaded did have a lot more content in it. And the Synthesia tool was not really equipped to pare down that much content. So I had to do it myself in terms of how the avatar actually looks and sounds. I think if you were watching this video on a small device like a phone, you might not catch on right away that Nora here is an avatar. If you blow up the video on a bigger screen, you can really kind of see where it feels a little bit unnatural. But if you do want to make videos and not show your face and not use your own voice, Synthesia is actually a pretty good solution for that, I think. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Again, if you want to check out Synthesia, I'll link to it in the description. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I picked out some other videos I know you're going to love, and I'll see you again.